To capture an image, a basic camera has a lens and a lens opening. The light passes through the lens and the lens opening controls how much light enters the camera. Whenever light passes through, it strikes the film or the digital sensor at the back of the camera and is recorded as a photograph. But whether or not you're a photographer, every day you're dealing with lenses and keeping objects in focus. Because even if you haven't picked up a camera or a smartphone, you're still using your eyes. The curvature of the lens in your eyes allows you to focus on objects at different distances and control some of the light that enters your eyes. The anatomy of the human eye made scientists think whether it was possible to use the same mechanics and make something that would reveal the wonders of nature that we can't see with our eyes. Let's take a closer look at the applications of lenses in our daily lives. We can see things that are super small or things that are out of this world with the help of lenses. For example, a magnifying glass. This simplest microscope of all is made from a single convex lens, a curved piece of glass that bends or refracts light rays passing through them, magnifying the object 5 to 10 times. However, microscopes used in schools and laboratories are actually compound microscopes. They use at least two lenses to produce a magnified image. There's a lens above the object, called the objective lens, and another lens near your eye, called the eyepiece. Most compound microscopes can magnify an object by 10, 20, 40, or even 100 times. But where a microscope allows us to see really small things, a telescope allows us to see things that are far away, even out of this world. A refracting telescope is a tube with one or more lens at each end. Light from a faraway object enters the far end of the tube. The lens, or lenses at that end, called the objective lens, bend the light. They focus it at a point near the other end of the tube. The light forms an image or picture of the object at this point. The lens or lenses at this end, called the eyepiece, magnify the image. Well, see these spectacles I'm wearing? It's because I can't see things far away. This happens because the light rays come into focus in front of my retina. For this sort of problem, my glasses are made of convex lenses. These bend the light towards the bottom and top of the lens, thus pushing the focal point back towards the retina and allowing me to see. Time for an exercise! What kind of lens is used in a flashlight and why? Concave lenses are used in flashlights to magnify the light produced by the bulb. The light falls on the concave side of the lens and the rays diverge on the other side. This increases the apparent radius of the light source and provides a wider beam. Today, we learned about the application of lenses. We saw how they are used in cameras, telescopes, microscopes, spectacles, and even in flashlights.